Welcome to this presentation about the use of mobile phones in a project for in-service teacher education in Tanzania. I'm going to show you how learning material can be accessed using a mobile phone. Some of the material is preloaded on memory cards in the phones. In that case, the phones are used as media players. Some of the material is downloaded through the mobile phone network. I will start with some material from memory cards. Hello and welcome to section 1 of the course Application of Teaching and Learning Theories. Okay, In this section looking at basic to. concepts on teaching, learning and planning. The objective of the section are that at the end of the section you should be able to define teaching, learning and planning. It's a two inch you should be able to differentiate between activities and objects in teaching and learning. We use PowerPoint presentations, which has been narrated using Camtasia and downloaded to the memory cards of the mobile phones. These PowerPoints, one for each module of the course, serve as introductions to the reading material. For the reading material, the Tequila Cat book reader is used, a free book reader which can be used on any mobile phone hand in Java. All reading material in study guides for the three courses in the project about 500 pages of text is downloaded to the memory cards. 4 GB memory cards are installed in the mobile phones. So far only about 500 MB have been used. The phones are used are not the most expensive ones. They are not so called smartphones. But we don't use the cheapest phones. The cost is about 120 US dollars. You can scroll the text manually or you can use an automatic scroll in the speed of your choice. There are also possibilities to add bookmarks and to search in the text material. And if you don't like to read the material on the screen, you can listen to it instead. Theories, section 2, section 2. Approaches TO the study of learning. 2.1 introduction. Under this section an attempt has been made to introduce you to three areas in the the text in the study guides have been interpreted as voice, a synthetic voice, and downloaded to mobile phones as mp3 files. There are also some movie clips downloaded from the internet to the memory cards to be used as reference material. The life and work of B.F. Skinner is an interesting background material for studies in pedagogy. Scientists engineer shiny new consumer goods for an eager public. Harvard psychologist B.F. Skinner seeks nothing less than the engineering of human nature. In experiments with subjects as simple as pigeons, Skinner declares that with the right social engineering, we can create a new breed of human being. Skinner is firmly in the behaviorist. For interaction, there are quizzes. Some quizzes are preloaded to the memory cards but you can also download quizzes from the mobile phone network using 3G or GPRS. One of the ideas of the project is that one should use what is available. If one has a computer with internet connection, use the computer. If one doesn't have a computer access, use the mobile phone access. All the learning material is stored in a Moodle learning management system. To be used in the mobile phones, the quizzes are transformed to Java applications using a system called Mobile Quiz from the company Mobile Study. In Tanzania, internet access is over the mobile phone network is available everywhere where there is normal mobile phone access. Internet is accessed using 3G or GPRS. The project has a site specially made for mobile phones with the address ictbytes.mobi. There are many reasons to use mobile phones for teaching and learning in developing countries. One obvious reason is of course that mobile phones are in the hands of many more people than computers are. Also, people are used to mobile phones. One can use mobile phones without continuous access to electric power. Mobile phones are cheaper than computers, etc. etc. In Tanzania there are more than 10 million of mobile phones in the population about 40 million. The internet infrastructure connecting computers is weak but the mobile phone networks offering a working infrastructure. 
within a few years the situation will change but until then it's a good idea to use what is available. We can run the case quiz, and uh, here is a multiple choice question. The questions is a true false, they are correct directly. Most of my answers are wrong, obviously. This one was correct. And the reason to have quizzes like this is not only testing the knowledge of the students but also to keep them moving and keep them uh, working with the material to be prepared to the exams. And now we have the possibility to do it once more or send the results to the teacher. And if you send the results to your teacher, the teacher knows that you are working and preparing for the exams. Now I'm sending it. And now this, the results are sent as an SMS text message to the teacher. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation and if you are interested look at the web page. The web page address is mentioned on the side of the presentation. Bye!